Alright guys, um, today we were just trying out a free-to-play Pure Saiyan team. Um, obviously the new Prime Battle LR Vegeta came out. He is a free-to-play Pure Saiyan, lead with 4 3 key and 70% stats. Um, it's pretty good overall, I would say. Um, now this free-to-play Pure Saiyan team is actually salty. Um, you've got the movie hero Goku and Vegeta, who are god tier. Uh, this was probably the best Super Saiyan Blue Goku in the game, like, actually. And then, they're probably, like, quotes up better units to put in the slot, but I'm bringing this Goku just so that it's easier for the Prime Battle Vegeta to get, like, supers, because he changes STR keys to Rainbow, just to create more orb paths, you know? Uh, so that's good. Uh, and then we have the Category Super Battle Road Goku, and... I thought about this guy being free to play or not, and I was like, you know what? You can beat the Peppy Gals category stage 20 times if you're free to play. So I think this guy counts as free to play. So you, if you're a free to play player, you probably won't have him rainbowed like I do, but you will have him most likely. Um, and then this Goku is just a little bit of a support unit, uh, two key, 20% attack, whatever. I just needed someone for the last slot, and then obviously the friends of Vegeta. He's, th this is actually the only friend Vegeta that I could find that was SA20, and he actually has the exact same splits for his Vegeta that I do, which is kind of funny. <laughs> um, but anyways, with that all being said, we are going to hop into the future Gohan event, just because I haven't done that event much for, like, showcases and stuff. And if this event goes down, like, super fast, we also might do another event after this. It all, all depends. It's all relative. Um, hmm. Now, this future Gohan event, if we don't beat it fast, the last stage could go on for a while, because I'm pretty sure, just like his card, the last stage, the longer it goes on, the more he tanks your attacks. So, we're either going to beat this, like, super fast, or we're not at all. Um, we're going to keep the Super Saiyan Blues linked up together, because they have, like, Super Saiyan Warrior Gods, Shattering the Limit, and stuff. And, there's that. Now, the other rotation... I think it's probably going to end up being, like, one of the LR Vegetas linked up with probably the Super Saiyan Goku, the one who gives 2 key and 20% attack, just so that the Vegeta can more easily get his, like, 18 key. I'm not saying that he will be able to, but it will be easier when he's next to that Goku, because he's going to get, uh, I think that Goku has Golden Warrior, so he's going to get 1 key from that, and then he's going to get 2 key from his passive, and then he's going to get 2 key from Shattering the Limit, or the Rebirth Link, so. So is that an 18 key? It is. See, like, it's already paying off. Now this Goku back here, he doesn't hit hard at all. He's not, I'd say he's probably one of the worst Kaioken Gokus. Like, but a lot of the Kaioken Gokus are good. Um, he's okay, he just changes orbs. He was like, one of the only free-to-play orb changer pure saint. See, that's why I don't like it, that, that the G is an int type. Because he, w if he wouldn't have dodged that attack just there, he would have gotten his passive active. But the way it is, he didn't because he dodged it. And it's like, why do you do this though? You know, we want you to be strong. You want you to be strong, and you just say nah. Okay, dang, this did a lot of damage. Um, we're gonna heal here. Actually, we're gonna use a Senzu Bean. All right, and then Goku over there. Uh. Now, if the LR, like, Super Battle Road Goku, if he had Shattering the Limit, I would actually keep him on rotation with Vegeta, but he does not have Shattering the Limit. He has, uh, actually he doesn't have an Awakening Link, because you just get him as an LR. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, now here is hoping that this Vegeta doesn't dodge, like, both attacks or something crazy. And then this Vegeta will get a 17 key super and just make me upset. So like, this is the only phase where the Vegetas are actually, like, really good, because all the other phases are physical. So, maybe I didn't think about this, like, quite enough. Or maybe I thought about it the perfect amount. Because now this might take, like, super long. Alright. 62,000 from this Goku. I've probably had enough copies of him to rainbow him, like, 14 times over and get him to SA10. But every time I get a copy of him... I just feed it into another Super Saiyan Goku who I like more, like, just like a few weeks ago when the Gogeta and Broly banners came out. Uh, I didn't get Gogeta because that banner just 
hated me. But I did get Super Saiyan God Goku. And God Goku starts off as Super Saiyan Goku, so I used like nine copies of that agility Goku to get that Goku to SA10. So I didn't use any Kai's actually. Why am I having him tank this? I need to pay more attention. There was no reason for me to do that at all. I was just not paying attention. Alright, Vegeta's gonna finish him off here. And one thing I would like to say is on JP this team is much better because the physical launch on Vegeta and the STR Super Saiyan 2 Goku both have their awakenings on JP. On global they don't, so they're not quite as good of units on global as they are on JP at the moment. Uh, but either way, you could probably use them right now on global. I'm not sure if I would totally recommend that. We're gonna use this. Um, but you know, to each their own, you can do whatever you want. A lot of people have like already rainbowed them just because they're waiting for them to come out. Um, their awakening will probably come out either the next time Dogon Battlefield comes out or the time after. Look at that 1 million crit from Vegeta. Doing his best. Also, I'm sorry if there's a whole bunch of sniffles in this video. I need to blow my nose, but I'm not going to do that because, my god, that would be gross, but... <laughs> that was so loud. I'm sorry. Sorry for, like, breaking your ears off. Crit? Okay, and... Boy, we really are just getting hurt here. Um... I guess we're going to heal again. Imagine this team loses this event. I was like, yeah, this team is pretty good, and then this team just loses. Which is honestly possible, because we're just solely relying on this rotation to beat the future Gohan phase. Like, the last phase, I mean, because all of these phases are future Gohan. But, you know, 100k. Yikes. We're getting hurt out here. I think they could probably finish this phase off here. Yeah, he's done. Vegeta won't finish him, but I think LR Vegeta will probably finish him. Even the S type disadvantage. Yeah, the, he probably will if his passive is active. I don't think his passive is active. Although I don't know what might be. Crit? Crit though. See, like, it almost seems like when he crits, it kind of shakes a little bit longer. In that last little spot. Um, here we are going to use a double Ox King. And we are going to try and not get supers. Um. Hmm. Which already is impossible. So. We're just going to not give same color orbs and hope that we don't get a Dokkan mode here. No Dokkan mode, no Dokkan mode. Yes, awesome. Uh, with the 50% damage reduction, this won't kill us. Did I heal? Do we have full HP? Because we don't have full HP, this might kill us. 63k. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, we're gonna die. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna say. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna die. We're about to do the thing where we stop living. Do you guys like the ASMR video? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Um, okay, dodge. Okay, um. I don't think I gave this guy who can go any dodge. So, he's trying, though. He's like, I'll finish him off. Can you get that far? No! No! Man, I was trying to say how good this team was. I thought about using a stone, but I'm trying to, like, save up stones. So, we're not gonna do that. Um. You know what? Maybe that event was just too hard. We're gonna... I bet we can beat the physical Broly event. I bet we beat the SDR Broly event. <laughs> I just wanted the SDR Broly event. Okay. Um. Okay, about this. Um. Okay, I guess we'll call him out of video. <laughs> that was a failure. But, you know, either way, this team is good, but... So, hold up, if we just... This is another thing I thought about running. Just, like, bringing the sealer, but, like, we already have too many int units. So I also didn't bring this Broly. Um, free-to-play units that aren't int on the Pure Saiyans team. There aren't many of them. <laughs> I guess I could have brought her, but she won't get any buff because she needs Peppy Gals or Universal Survival Saga. Universal Survival Saga. Yeah, there there aren't any of those on this team except for her, so that wouldn't have been good. I guess I could have brought Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, but he's SA1, and I'm not going to feed him these because I have these for something else. And I guess that is about it. So, the 
future Gohan event was just not a good choice, so I'm sorry about that, guys. But you, you just saw that I can't find another friend, so we are going to call it a day. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing to the channel. Uh, my name has been Blachrapf, and I will see you guys next time.